Welcome everybody, this is Jasmine from the Embassy of Peace and I'm sitting in this incredibly beautiful peaceful Chow Gardens in Chiang Mai in Thailand. We've just come out from a, a, a nine day um, in the darkness doing something very unusual that most people wouldn't do but yet it's quite beautiful. We come together here from 30 different countries all around the world, people who meditate, people who are interested in taking a holiday for themselves to unhook from all the busyness in the world and go deep into the yogi cave. Darkroom practice has been around for thousands of years and many of the ancient yogis did this going deep into caves where the temperature drops, they're taking no food, no fluid, but they disassociate a little from their body, expand out more to discover more of their multidimensional selves. So my name is April and I'm from New Zealand. Why did I join this retreat? I re joined this retreat um, because I wanted to dive deeper within myself. I've studied many disciplines from Drum Below Melchizedek's work, I've been in India and studied with the Pyramid Masters and things like that. And a lot of information was leading me to darkness technology. So this is the opportunity and the right timing in my life to come along and meet Jasmine because she has been she has been a light upon this earth which I've been aware of but haven't had the chance to connect with and when she offered this dark retreat I saw it as my opportunity to yes, come along and partake in that and really see what this darkness technology is all about and see what inner light I could bring forth from within me. My name is Chris Chung, I was born in Melbourne, Australia, I now live in Sydney. The first day of being in there um, after Jasmine Heen had said, okay, everyone, time to go off and do your thing now. I got into my room and was like, oh, what do I do? <laughs> and so, <laughs> and so that, was a, that was a really confronting moment for me because I lead a really extreme life in, in that um, I love keeping it really busy, uh, just not even deliberately. I'm just... Um, um, the my numerology 22 is is like I just love doing everything all the time, um, and to be in there in that in that darkness with nothing to to entertain myself with, like besides being alone and meditating effectively. Um, and I thought to myself oh, this could be a really long nine days if nothing exciting happens here or, you know, it could just be sitting here in darkness for nine days twiddling my thumbs. I'm Elena Andreeva and I live in Spain. I'm originally from Russia, but I live in Spain for 20 years now. I was on a road food for a long time, um, for a couple of years now, and uh, I wanted to understand how is it possible to, to live in this life without, um, without craving so much into the food. Because uh, we have such a strong, I, I particularly have a strong um, hunger, so I want to liberate myself from this uh, feeling, you know, not only physical food hunger, but all others as well. I think it, it is coming all, um, it's all the same, you know, from the same source. So my idea was to, to check if my abilities, if, if I'm ready for that already, to, to liberate myself. And this retreat was really, um, really something very profound, very important um, experience for me. Because it gave me many realizations and many insights. And, and most important, the confidence that I, that I, I really can, can live. And I don't need any other source than to connect with my, my essence and connect to all around, that I'm not anything else than, than everything around. My name is Matt. 
I'm uh, from Germany, traveling around the world since a couple of years and teaching sex with sexuality and uh, tantra. So my, my deepest realization in that workshop is um, uh, realizing myself as not this um, as this this image of identification, how I look or how my body is and what I see, that when I that um, that there's nothing I can really grab as a visual. Um, image of myself to identify myself and that there is uh, the only reality that is just like based on visualization is the reality that appears to me when I'm dreaming and everything else is just it's just vastness blackness. My experience wasn't quite what I expected it to be but I knew I shouldn't have expectations. Um, at times it was challenging, but at times it was beautiful and, and blissful with many revelations. And I connected with myself on a level which I haven't yet connected with before. So new doorways of possibility were opened and shown to me, which was fantastic. And it really is an experience which is hard to communicate with words um, until you've experienced what darkness really is and, and what it means to you. Something very interesting was I, was, I was I was shown, you know, a super bright white light that transformed into a flower of life, like just sacred geometry. And then that transformed into Fibonacci sequences of, of um, grids and then more grids. And then, and then um, you know, so it's, it, it was, there's just these laser light shows of different colors that were coming through. So for me, I found that to be a great light upon this earth that sometimes we have to go into dark places to really discover what that light is and, and bring that forth. My deepest realization that I can give further or the sentence is the only um, place that counts at the end of this workshop is uh, a deep foundation of self-love, what is a good place to love others from. Just live your life fully, enjoy every moment and be present now and be free and because we were born free and happy. God, has, God wants us to be happy, nothing else. And so all this nourishment comes from happiness and love. That's it.